right, uh, 1037. Thank you for tuning in this, uh, what's today, Wednesday? Wednesday, yes, Robin, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. Hair is important to a girl. Yes, it is. Hair is important to you ladies. <laughs> Hair, somebody might argue, is important to men, but not as much. I, I think you, it's, it's so important. When, uh, when your hair starts to change color... As you get older, um, I, I think the first gray hair you see, you're probably thinking, oh, my God, I got to do something. <laughs> I know, it's scary. <laughs> uh, if, if you look at this book that we're going to talk about, you will say, you know what? It's not a bad look. It's an attractive look, If I guess, if you do it right. And that's why we have a book. It's called Silver Hair, a handbook. Say goodbye to the dye and let your natural light shine. Uh, the author of the book is on the phone. She is Lorraine Massey. She is the founder of... Of Devachan Salons, hope I said that right, the co founder of the Deva Curl Products and the founder of Curly World. I uh, love that. Uh, silver Hair, a handbook. Say goodbye. Okay, this is good. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Lorraine. How are you? Good morning. How are you both? I'm good. What color is your hair? Mine, mine is uh, growing out. I've been, you know, because mine's really curly, so it takes a bit longer. But mine is, uh, it's, it's definitely a silver hue. But it's, I've got white streaks around the front, like the Bride of Frankenstein streaks, and the rest is like, um, you know, a little bit of uh, all different kinds, so all different types of silvers. It's Fifty Shades of Grey. Let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> See, now that's all we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even read the book, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's say 51 shades. <laughs> uh, you, you know, but, but the, the the cover lady on the on the the cover that's what, is that you on the cover? Yep. Oh, that is you. Oh God, thank you. No, it's not me. No, this is my gorgeous, gorgeous new friend uh, Andrea, and she was 12 when she started to go to go silver. What? And so she's now 35. Okay. Yeah. Oh God! And she's a beautiful lady, and th- and that's yeah. her, that's her natural yeah, hair color, she really right? Is. That one hundred percent. Everything, everything. Whenever I do a book, it has to be. It's got to be authentic because I, it, yeah, she's you know, definitely authentically silver. The one thing I like about today's world, uh, when I was a kid, and yeah. I was a kid in the sixties and seventies, you know, everybody had to have one color hair. Everybody had to have stri- like all, all the black yeah. girls I knew. They were all straightening their hair. Mm-hmm. You know, it looks so nice, just natural, doesn't it? And and and, and yeah. The, yeah. So I, I mean, it's not just about the color, but it's also about the way God made it, I guess you could say. Oh, God. This is exactly what it is that we're talking about here. It's like what you have naturally, once it's honored and and cultivated and nurtured with love, it's far more beautiful than anything that you could manufacture. And you know, it's, it's it yeah. really is, and it's very yeah. frustrating when you do color your hair and then you start to let it grow out because it just looks so haphazard. But you have uh, different yeah. uh, ladies in the book for the different stages yeah. of their hair, so you really yeah. are encouraging <laughs> yeah. others to let it grow out. Well, also to also be honest too, you know, this is it's not fluffy. The pictures are not really fluffy at all, you know, because we want to show the truth. Because on you know Instagrams and Facebooks and everything, we're just showing you the end result. Nobody wants to show you the ugly truth, yes, <laughs> the backstories. Whereas I'm more interested in the backstories. I'm interested in the journeys before we get there, but. Some mm. of it is just so unsustainable, the, pi- the pictures that we see. But this one is re- these are really realistic. And, you know, and also if I should show you their text to me during the course of it, like, oh, Lorraine, I don't think I can do this. I mean, that was all true. That's really true. And that's why um, you've got to have a really nice colorist or a lovely guiding light person or really some support that will help you through certain stages of uncoloring because it's attached. So your beautiful silver's coming through and if it's still attached to your color, it's not going to look great. So many women will say, I can't do this. I have a horrible silver, but you don't know what you have until it's really out and about for you to see before you judge. Exactly. And also the style is very important too once it is out there. Yes. Wait yes. a minute. Is this I, your, is, I think having a more natural. Is this you on page 193? Uh, are you on page 193? Let are you, me see. Um, are you in the book? Oh, I, don't <laughs> I am in the book. I am. And again, these pictures are not really great. But if you. If what do you, you mean? They're beautiful. All the way to the back. 
Yeah. <laughs> but if you go go to the back, um, that's where that's me now. A plaid, like a, to think. Mm-hmm. A plaid jacket and, and a vest. Yes. Yes. Right across from that's the page where you signed your name. Shop. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. Look yes. at you. Well, you got to put Stop your picture. In. You got to. You got to do. Oh, there you are again. Yeah, that's you again. Okay. <laughs> How come Michelle Bender? She's got brown hair. She doesn't fit in the club. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know why? Yeah, she doesn't. She's a mono- anomaly. Like she really doesn't have any silver. Oddly, maybe one or two streaks, and she's a hoping. She's saying, Lorraine, I want more silver. So, no, she, oh, really? she's got um, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but she understands it. Um, she, she gets it. She really is there she gets a, this whole thing. Is there, a, is, there, is there a bigger message here, and it seems to be in tune with what the rest of the world seems to be doing, was let's, yeah. let's stop living the way other people think we should live. Let's stop looking the way other people think we should look. Is, is that maybe the bigger That's message it. here? Yeah, drop the mic. You just said it. It's so that's really it. It really is sad that we're we're always chasing after things that don't belong to us and sometimes we're chasing things, you know, because of the you know, media and whatnot. We're chasing like Nicole Kidman. I mean I want to look like Nicole Kidman, but the thing is, Nicole Kidman doesn't even look like Nicole, Nicole Kidman anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're we're chasing things that are unsustainable and exhausting and really expensive. I <laughs> bet you Nicole Kidman would look at you your picture say. and want to look like you. Yeah, I think I, so. I mean, no offense well, to thing Nicole. Is, she has curls. She has curls like mine, and I know she's listening to your radio show right now. She does. But she has gorgeous curls. She usually calls and in and tries to win the, the movie tickets we give away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something that that no, you're but also, but, but something that you're also doing with your book is when uh, women and men are diagnosed with cancer, and then sometimes they do lose all of their hair. Once their hair starts yeah. growing back, they let it come in the way it is naturally, and that seems to give them a new yeah. lease on life, also. Absolutely, because I think with everything they've been through, you know, this is. You know, they're, 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 just, they're embracing, they will embrace anything. Any, you know, their hair coming through, it's like, wow, this is a sign of life. Because, like, hair is immortal. That's the interesting part about it. What, what you don't realize, even if the hair is not on your head, you know, once it's cut, because all these Victorian pieces that you can find, mm-hmm. the hair is actually, it will still contract and expand within these, their little, you know, hygroscopic boxes. Really? So, with the way we treat hair is unbelievable. We treat it like it's a washed up dish rag sometimes, but there are clothes that you would never treat the way you treat your hair. So it's really interesting. We wear our hair every day of our lives and some of us are so disconnected, utterly disconnected with what the possibilities of what lies underneath there naturally. Because whatever texture you may have, naturally straight, naturally curly, naturally kinky, coily, if you went towards that, cultivated it, had a tailored haircut towards it, you would look absolutely stunning and modern. And you're also free. So you're comfortable in your skin, which I think is very sensual too. I don't care who you are, where you're from. If you're really happy within yourself, it's, it just speaks fathoms. Oh, and I not only it. that, the chemical inductions, the chemical inductions, you know, the chemicals go into your, if we, you know, everything absorbs into our skin. Yes. It oh, goes gosh. Into the have you ever seen a... a it goes go- into the waterway. Have you ever seen a gray-headed man oh. that smokes? You can yes. tell he smokes. You can see it oh. in his hair. Well, exactly. I agree with you. You see, because it's, it, again, it's that yellow and he needs some, with or without you, blue hue. You know, he needs to cleanse with a little bit of blue hue. But <laughs> you're right. It's, it, it, we're all environmental, and we're all products of what we've been brainwashed into thinking that we should be doing. And then one day we get off the conveyor belt, and we don't want it to be for a negative reason, you know. Yeah. Oh, I love you what you're sick. saying. This is what you yeah. have to do. This is more than yeah. just. A, this is more than a fashion book. This is really a profound. Yeah. A profound look at how we should be living. Uh, Silver hair is what it's called. I have a copy. It's a beautiful book, by the way. I have a copy of the book here. Call me Aww. if you want the one that was sent to me. Give us a website so we can go buy the book. Okay. Um, go to workman.com or curlyworld.com. Curly World. 
Now that that sounds like it has yeah. a few rides in it, Curly yeah. World. <laughs> that's my new. <laughs> that's my new company. That's um. I'm. You know. I've started my new company, which is more natural. That the products are more natural. They're not out yet, but if you come to my web page, you'll see, just leave your email, and I'm going to send you all the new newsletters. And if you wanted to carry on the conversation uh, about how to, go, you know, allow your curl or your um, silver to come through, you can. Ask me any questions on Curly Girl, the handbook on Faze page. I'd be more than happy to answer and carry on the conversation. All right. Absolutely. Good stuff. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you for being on the show with us today. Pleasure. Thank you. I'm going to tune in. I'm going to try and get in. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be hard to get those tickets because you know how... What's, what's the actress's name again? Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. You know how she is. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lorraine. All right. All right. We'll be right Bye. back. Bye-bye. Howdy, folks. R.L. here for Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best.